Hello guys, today we're talking about 3D floor plans. In this short video, we're going to break down our workflow, give you some tips and tricks on how to create stunning looking, high quality images using D5 render. So stay tuned and let's start. So the first step what we need to do is to check out our 2D drawings that we received from our clients. We need to decide which outer walls are we going to be cutting and what would be the best viewing angle for our 3D floor plan. In this case we are going to be cutting these two outer walls and we are going to be facing the model from this direction. In this way we can clearly see the living room area as well as the kitchen furniture we can clearly see the terrace and the rest of the layout. So that's the first step. Now let's jump to a 3D model. Here we have a 3D model prepared. It was made with Archicad. You can choose any 3D modeling software you want. There's no difference. So before exporting our model to D5 render, we need to address some uh, things. In our model, we need to have our kitchen furnitures. We need to have our wardrobes. We need to place some curtains and a shower. As you can see here, all of our inner walls and these two outer walls are cut in the same height. The biggest issue with modeling with Archicad is that you need to cut all your windows and doors at the same height. To achieve that, I left one window for us to cut together. So what you need to do is to put a slim strip of slab or a wall and then we need to convert our window or door into a morph. Because only then we can uh, make a clean cut then we can go to a design and solid element operation click our window as a target then choose our slab add, add it as an operator and subtraction with the upward extrusion and execute now you can see we have a nicely cut window at the same height as the rest of it, as the rest of it. All that's left to do is to hide our slabs. To do that, we just click here and voila. We have our nicely cut window. We placed these these small strips, slim strips on the walls to show exactly where the cutting plane is. We need also to separate all the materials because we're going to be painting them in D5 render. So for example, this is going to be our wooden floors, this will be kitchen tiles, this will be a different uh, tiles. So all our materials need to be separated before exporting. If you make any mistakes, you can easily uh, update uh, your model in D5 render. There's, there's no problem. So I guess all that's left to do is to export our model using a D5 render plugin or uh, just save our model to a SketchUp file and then open it in D5 render. And welcome to D5 render. Here we have already imported our 3D model and almost all of the textures are applied except the terrace floor that we're going to be doing together. If you're not familiar with D5 render, it's very simple, very interactive, real-time rendering engine. And if you want to learn more about it, 
let me know. I'm gonna try to make a different tutorial then about the DeFi render. On the left here, we have our scenes. We have our assets where you can find uh, models, materials, and particles. On the bottom here, we have our 3D object list. And on the right here, we have our sun settings, weather settings, we have our image settings for rendering, we have our video settings for movies. So let's apply that uh, terrace material. All we need to do is go to assets, uh, go to materials, choose floor and then wood floor. And here you can see we have a lot of options for wood floor. We choose, we, we just left click on the material we want to choose and then left click on the plane we want to uh, put our texture and left click again. If we have something like this appear, just go here and press this trip planer button. As you can see, it it's, it's, it's looking good already. I'm just going to rotate the texture 90 degrees and we have our terrace prepared. The next step, what we need to do is put some objects in the model. For that, you just go to assets, uh, click model and search different kind of model model you need uh, for that we already placed our models and we have in the other scene so here you can see we have our sofas and tables and all the beds uh, some uh, bathroom utilities placed in it looking it's looking good already so the next step, just add some more details. So we're adding some chairs and rug, uh, some working tables for kids room, some smaller uh, utilities for bathroom and just add more. We need, we need, we need some plants. We need some small things on the kitchen countertop. We need some clothes in wardrobe and voila. After we applied everything, it looks, it looks very nice. We have our lighting fixtures, we have some plants, we have some berries on the table and the quality for DeFi rendering is very great and you can do easily uh, interior renderings with it but uh, about that maybe next time so after we placed all our objects into our 3d model all it's left to do is choose the right angle the angle should be that we could see the most of our layout uh, all the corridors and the doors you must see clearly uh, our layout we could, cho we could choose uh, the top view, but it's just not that beautiful as a side view. So all we need to do is apply some sky, some play with the, these uh, sun settings, and then go to render, uh, choose preset size, and press the render button. And the last but not least, we need to do our post-production. We do our post-production using Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, now we're in Photoshop and you can always improve your images by some color correction, color grading, and there's numerous ways in post-production that you can improve your images, your image quality, your image background, and so on. The one thing we're now in Photoshop is that we need to get rid of this, uh, these shadows around the building. To do that, it's a very simple way. You just press L on your keyboard and drew a line around our model. 
we're doing that because we want to have our 3d floor image jpeg as well as png file so after we draw a line around our model model image we just press this mask and we have our 3d floor plan isolated so here's the final image let me know what you think was it helpful and please subscribe to the channel because we're going to do these videos more often now have a great day bye